Jack, what, what was the feeling leaving that locker room last January against those guys? You just want to piss me off going into this week, and I appreciate that. I do, actually. Dallas Cowboys, San Francisco 49ers. Connor taking the field with you guys, man. This is a special team. Sunday night football. Oh, mama. I understand it's a team that if we want to get to where we get, we've got to play the game, play them again, come playoffs. So uh, looking forward to the matchup. Niners defense tied for the third fewest points per game allowed. He got sacked by Fred Warner. Cowboys D, the fewest points per game allowed while pretending they're the offense over and over again. Jones just can't find, comes back across the field. This time he pays the price. Deron Bland, pick six. Dallas's offense aided by that D, fourth most points per game. Here's Prescott, looking to throw a fade for C.D. Lamb. He's got it, touchdown. San Francisco's O, third most points per game. It's a 65-yard lightning strike for McCaffrey. And it's the 49ers offense that arguably sports the MVP at the quarter mark, and it's not a QB for once. Can you imagine what it would like if you didn't get McCaffrey? No, don't ever say that. <laughs> Monster matchup number one to dissect, McCaffrey versus Dallas's stout run defense. Touchdowns are a lot of fun, so hopefully we can keep it rolling. 49ers offense is loaded with stars, but the table setter to it all, the CMC Music Factory. Yeah, he's a freak. He's the thing making Dan Quinn go, hmm. The swing to McCaffrey, okay. use check blocking out front. Oh, a hurdle for McCaffrey! Get Sweeping his way for the touchdown! Cowboys defense the next up and trying to figure out how to contain Christian McCaffrey, the ultimate dual threat weapon. He does everything, man, so we're thankful for him. He's a dog. Try threat, really, but just starting with his running skills. 4.7 per run. That's his low so far across four games. Rushing TD in every game, a hat trick last week. McCaffrey again, and for the fourth time today, Christian McCaffrey scores a touchdown. He leads the NFL in rushing yards by almost 100 already. Trying to do something here with Christian McCaffrey. Got a bruising block from Brandon Ayuk. Got another from Ray Ray McLeod. Turned it into a touchdown. It's so fun to play for a team that takes pride in, in blocking. Dallas should expect to see him slash his way towards them 20 times minimum. It is hard to get Jerry Rice out of the record book, but Christian McCaffrey just did it. He has scored a touchdown now in 13 consecutive games. San Francisco could employ Debo as a runner, of course. Not much action last week. Ribs are hurting him. Still, it's McCaffrey that it starts with, and he's facing his toughest test yet. Cowboys have held running backs to 3.8 a run in 2023, and they faced Saquon before he got hurt, held him to 4.3 a carry. They'd take that against McCaffrey. And a handoff to Barkley coming left, and he's in jail. Dorrance Armstrong and Jonathan Hankins. Next matchup, Dallas's pass rush, San Francisco's O-line. Brock Purdy has faced pressure 30% of the time, sixth lowest. He was great. He was um, almost perfect. They told me I had a one incompletion at the end of the game. I was like, oh my gosh. In turn, he's got some nice digits. No picks, five TDs, a rating over 115. That's tops in the league. Gonna take a deep shot to IU. Made the catch! The left side of the line is anchored by Trent Williams, but all their big uglies will be tested. Archer might describe Dallas's pass rush as scarier than an alligator on a three-wheeler. You know, defense really, really set the table. You know, with the with the takeaways and the field position. Demarcus Lawrence comes off the right edge most of the time, and even though Micah Parsons moves around, he'll test himself against Williams at times. That's a squanchy party if I've ever seen one. Here comes a five-man rush, and Zappi's in trouble. Sam Williams takes. Down. Niners line also dealing with Dorrance Armstrong, Osio Digizua, Sam Williams, Dante Fowler, not Dexter though, second highest sack rate, 14 bags in four games, highest pressure rate in the league. Pressure coming, he's in trouble, Fowler coming, ball is loose, Fender has picks it up, touchdown Dallas! Balls in the air, Cowboys have held QBs to the lowest rate in the league, second fewest passing yards per game, third lowest completion percentage allowed. Intercepted. Deron Bland, call the house. Hello, house. 
House, it's me, Duran. Hello, House. DBs Malik Hooker, Stephon Gilmore, J. Ron Kirst, Duran Bland, Jordan Lewis, all sub-70 rates against, except for Gilmore, who sub-90. Blitz coming, fourth down. They got to have it. Coming near side. It's another interception. It's picked off by Bland again. Cowboys have not been hurt by any position group. San Francisco fans point to the fact Dallas has faced both New York teams, Arizona and New England. None have a group like theirs. Samuel's ribs limited him last week, but we all know what he can do. Tight end George Kittle only got one look last week. Greg was probably better. Why are you following me around? Am I, is it because I'm cute? But no explainer needed for his potential. I thought so. Their CMC, seven catches, 70 yards, and a score versus Arizona. And the star last week, Brandon Ayuk, who blew up for 148 yards in his return from injury. Going deep for Ayuk and a fingertip grab inside the 25. So now you get to Dallas's O face. It hasn't shined as consistently as San Francisco's, but they have Dak Prescott coming in off a triple digit rate game, no picks, over 260 passing yards. Here's Prescott looking to throw a fade for CD Lamb. He's got it. Touchdown, Dallas. Good to get a receiver a touchdown. Um, a lot of good comes from it, and a lot of great comes from it when you when you win a game 38 to 3. Prescott has ping ponged 100 plus rate games with 70s rate games. So he has to shed the odd week curse, which won't be easy against San Francisco due to their front. Our D line gets a one on one, and the quarterback's not getting rid of it quick. There's a good chance he's going down. Dobbs under pressure, though, and he's sacked. Javon Hargrave. It's dangerous. Like Parsons, Nick Bosa didn't have a sack last week, only has one for the year. Still, San Francisco has pressured QBs over 40% of dropbacks while only blitzing 22% of the time. Daniel Jones back, gets hit, and he is sacked. By the grave digger. Bosa has Javon Hargrave and defensive end Drake Jackson helping pick up the slack. Each guy has three sacks. Pick it in trouble again and sacked again. Drake Jackson with a three sack day. Battle in the trenches will be beefy on this side too. Prescott has faced pressure less than 30% of his dropbacks. That's one of the lowest as well. Prescott's got a lot of time. Can't find it. And now a man is open. It's Gallup. Why? He leans on C.D. Lamb, of course, most games anyway. Lamb scored week four. Up in the air, caught it, end zone, C.D. Lamb. Michael Gallup, 60 yards versus New England, 60-plus back-to-back weeks. Wide receiver Jalen Tolbert had 50-plus versus the Pats. Jake Ferguson, the tight end, led the team in targets last week with seven, caught all of them for 77 yards. Prescott, oh, Ferguson held on. What a catch! Those guys stacked up against Diamador Lenore, Charverius Ward, Isaiah Oliver, Tashawn Gibson, Talanoa Hufunga, all with sub-70 rates against, save Lenore, who is low 80s. San Francisco has held QBs to a mid-70s rate as a whole. And Pickett throws deep down the sideline, intercepted by Charverius Ward! And no shock with linebackers Dre Greenlaw and Fred Warner, running backs haven't cracked four a carry against them. So in comes Tony Pollard, not much play last week, averaging 4.3 a run for the season. Oh, here's a run, though, to Pollard with a big hole! First down inside the 30. This is the rubber match for this all-time rivalry. They are 19, 19, and 1 against each other. You tell everyone who wins it, we have predictions, and we have NFL Plus, where you can stream live games on mobile, NFL Red Zone, NFL Network, and more on NFL Plus, of course.